Instagram. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm going to show you my Sydney Grace Co Christmas in July haul. And yes, I chopped off all my hair. I don't even know if you can see. I can't really see. Anyway, my hair is a lot shorter. A small change with the lights? I'm not sure. I've got to like fix it up a little bit yet. But let's see what I bought. So with the Christmas in July sale, you could make multiple orders and then they would refund you the shipping cost, which was really cool because it meant that you could sort of get a chance to get the deals, but some of the deals were a surprise. So I had a really hard time choosing what ones I wanted and what I wanted to buy. So it was quite hard, but I do love the way that Sydney Grace package everything. It is beautiful. I've ordered from them maybe only once before, I think. But first on top of the box is, I'm so excited. Um, so I ordered on the mystery bag day because like I love mystery bags and I've got this beautiful little ham like makeup bag it's so cute I kind of wish my name was Sydney Grace but it's like whoa it's actually embossed this is beautiful this feels really nice and high quality mm, I think I'm definitely going to be using this and inside this bag is it should be $50 I think worth of products because I bought $50 of stuff that day uh, like so I ordered all the multi creams I have all the multi creams I'm pretty excited and this is what I got in, and then inside the bag it's all packaged like this so we got one of their new lips and I got lacy I actually really love the way like I love the style of this bottle it's very cool sleek and fun and what a nice shade So that is Lacey. While I'm here, I've got lips. I know I've got another lip. I chose out and bought Carissa for myself because I was keen to try one of their lip colors. So this is Carissa next to it. These are gonna be super nice to wear and they look really nice and glossy. Hmm. I'm intrigued, but I am gonna clean that with my hand. <laughs> also in here, we have a range of, it looks like I've got three big ones what is this is this a hat like is that blush so I I think these um uh, well I'm not really sure I'm guessing highlighter maybe bronzer or blush and definitely blush this blush looks super fun so I think I might take them all out and then come back because I want to show you guys everything I got, but like it's also really boring me sitting here doing this. So I'll be back in a sec and I'll show you what came in the mystery bag. All right, I have unpackaged it kind of. I've got like one of these Astralis mini packs and I was hoping to fit them all in, but they do not fit. So I kicked out Burning, which is the shade here. <laughs> For now, um, it'll have a home. But the, so these are two blushes and this is a highlighter and then we've got the four shades. They go, I worked it out in total, I got $66 worth of products in this bag, not even including the price of the little cute like makeup bag. This is probably one of my favorite little mystery collections of eyeshadows. There's so many beautiful shades in here. I'm really curious to, one well, thing, let's just go for it. Let's put, what was the shade again? This is a bunny ring. And then let's put a little bit of bunny ring on. I do already have a blush on, but we can go over. Whoa. All right, I wasn't expecting that level of pigment. Well, I've got to even it up yet now, don't I? Let's just get a, a bigger brush to diffuse a little bit. I'm not sure I can wear this shade. I'm gonna say that blended on. I would never ever go through that. I'm super curious to try to see if I could use it on my eyes because I think it would be amazing for that. But I am just going to turn it down with a little bit of foundation. Alright, and then I feel like we should go for the highlighter too and see if that level of pigment is as crazy. I believe it was Allegro. Yeah. Alright, and then I feel like I should switch out and put one of these lips on just to see what they're going in. I can tell you what I initially think of them. Alright, let's put Lacey on because I think it was the latter of the two. That comes out so fun. I just need to do that again. So I unscrew. Oh, it's like magic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so easily entertained sometimes. Uh, 
Yeah, I think that shade probably looks a bit better than the Jeffree Star lip I was wearing, but just I don't know, I like it. Um, so I'm super happy with like these shades up here. I've got a on black. I wonder if I have you already. Eclipse. No, I don't. But this purple, how pretty does this look? Ooh. And this green. And let's have a look. So this is Eclipse. I know I've got their black in it, Magnum, which is really nice. So I'm curious to try it and see how it goes. So I personally really love the Sydney Grace formula. Unfortunately, one of my friends, she, um, so amongst this, she had bought the Danny's Dream bundle and decided that she didn't like it. So she was reselling it. So while the sale was on, I was like, oh, like I'm probably going to end up buying Danny's Dream. So I'll let you buy it. And then I also, with one of the days where they gave you the free lot of, a bundle. I got the Raspberry Kiss bundle, which is the bundle on this side, and this is the shade that didn't fit in the other one. So, voila. I actually really just love like how aesthetically like pleasing this red to green one is. I already opened them when I got the package because I couldn't help myself from playing with at least some of it. So I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I had to try. But I do love the way that they package them all up in these little boxes, and that's all beautifully done. I think you would be... I think I'd be really surprised if you got a broken Sydney Grace shadow. And if you do, I know that their customer service is amazing. Um, I one time had one of the shadows break down over time and they were absolutely just like amazing to deal with. So in this other little box, these are the shadows I've not touched and can't wait to have a look. So these are a lot of the ones that I chose. Now looking at them, I'm like, how many did I choose? But should we have a look? So none of them are labelled on the back, so I actually don't really know which ones are which. So I've got three multi-chromes in this collection, and are they going to fit anywhere? I don't even know if I have a proper home for them. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do. Until I can make it to the shops, I've got like this, I don't know, I thought it was cool. I can store some in, so that'll be nice. I feel like I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put the blushes in this one and then use this one to put some more shades in. All right. Let's open the three moldy chromes and then I might duck off again and unravel them all and then show you. It just, like, this is so fiddly. Ooh, this is pretty. So this is Twisted Shifter. Oh, man. This is a green to me. Ooh, magic. In this little one, we have. No, oh, they're making me say hard words. Burigade? This is a rosy gold to me, or like a rose, and to you it's purple. And we swatch it on. Amazing. Let's see if I can get it. Morty creams are just notoriously difficult to demonstrate on camera. But trust me, it is beautiful. Then I believe this is our third one. Yep. These were <laughs> chosen in increasingly harder pronunciations. This is Carmillionaire. Oh, green. Was it Charmillionaire? Or was it? It's a green to blue shift. Oh my god. Whew. Oh man, I am in love with those. I don't know, I do have a few multi-chromes. These just, the formula is so smooth compared to some of the other ones I have. I don't know, I can't wait to play with them. So the shades I chose out are all these other ones that I have. All right, so here is that original Charles palette with some of the shades I added. Some of the shades I'm really excited to play with is like this one, ooh, mint green. I don't know. I've been super into minty shades lately. This is lemonade. I already know that. I just love a shimmery yellow. Surprised I didn't pick up shimmery orange. Maybe I can find one. Over here there's like this shade. Mag Mag nah. Magenta cream dreams. I don't know. I'm in love. I'm so happy. Um... I don't know. I just love black makeup. But now I have all this rubbish. 
and I'm wondering why I bought so many singles. I don't even really have a plan of what I want to do. Um, but this is, I've just been able to add another row in here of shadows. I don't know. I've got the Sydney Grace. I've got one of the bundles that I bought last year that is in here. And this is, oh, I forget what bundle this is. But I've had this bundle for a while. I've used it a bit. And I do quite enjoy it. I think maybe I should look at doing a Sydney Grace palette bingo. I could do so many looks now. I have so much of their shadows. Um, I love these from Inglot to keep my shadows in. I just wish that they were designed more to hold the pants. Because I don't know. I just, I'm really fussy with... I'm really fussy with like the what do you call it empty palettes that i like to use for single shadows i do really enjoy like the ColourPop styles i just find them fit everything so nicely and everything so i might buy some more ColourPop ones just to save me some dollars on the inglot ones because those add up after a while anyway let me know if you bought anything in the sydney grace co christmas and july sale what did you get and what do you think of what I got? Uh, so far this lip still hasn't dried down. I'm not sure what it's meant to do. Let me look that up. So they're calling lip creams. Voice moisturizing cross between a lip gloss and a lipstick. I'd say moisturizing lip cream. I don't think it's going to last all day, but it's quite comfortable to wear. I feel like it would potentially move though. But I will see how I go. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. Enjoy. Mwah.